Moving on from there, we got the Holy War. We have got Utah, a seven-point favorite on the road at BYU. And I'm going to tell you up front, I am taking Utah here. I think this is way too few points. BYU did not overly impress me against Arizona. Uh, Arizona, I do not believe, is a very good team. I think that their coach is competent now, so that's a step in the right direction. But BYU lost a bunch of guys. There's inexperience, it, making mistakes you know, here and there. I, I think Utah is the significantly more experienced team. I mean, my goodness, they have won so many in a row over BYU. Like, I, I think that Kyle Whittingham takes this game seriously. He does not mess around when it comes to this rivalry. And they got the better players, man. They got the better defensive line. They got the better offensive line. The running backs look awesome right now. They showed nothing that they that they didn't have to show uh, against Weber State last week. I I like Charlie Brewer. I like what they're doing on offense. I like the defense. I'm I'm all in on Utah. Give me Utah minus seven here. All right. So this is one of those situations where I think home field's going to matter. I think Provo is going to be insane. All right. Gotcha. I think this will be a massive amount of blue and white, and they're going to be going crazy. They want this game. They need this game. Also, I believe the hate on BYU has gone too far. <laughs> yes, they lost some good players from last year. They're a good football team. And we, we joke about it all the time, but it's the damn truth. These guys are not 18- and 19-year-old kids like everybody else in college, okay? These guys are 24- and 25-year-old grown-ass men. Right? Married they with got two dad kids. Strength. Yeah, they're married with two kids, all right? These guys are not going to be messed with. Okay, so yes, more athletes are on Utah. Utah is the better football team. This is a rivalry game on the road, and the home team is catching more than a touchdown in a rivalry game. I'm going to take those points. I'm going to take my chance. I know I'm taking the worst. It's the same thing with Tennessee. I know I'm taking the worst team. I know that. I don't. I don't care because I've seen too many weird things happen in college football. I can totally understand where you're coming from. Uh, Utah has won nine of the last ten, uh, including eight straight, and they are seven and three against the spread in that time span. Uh, however, you know over the last uh, over the last four years, they are two and two against the spread in this game. So, and it's always it's always single digits, always single digits. So, very interesting. Uh, so you were rolling BYU. Let me write that down. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.